David here with Fig Boot on Pens. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at a pen which last year set atop my top 10 pens of the year list rankings. Um, while the pen won't maintain its ranking at the end of this year, unfortunately, uh, it still will be on the list and, and is a, a very, very nice pen that I enjoy tremendously. Uh, and that pen is the Pelican Suveron M805. What I'm going to do is uh, talk about the, uh, the parts and the features of this pen, go over some of the things I care for, some of the things I don't care for, then I'll provide some measurements, some uh, size comparisons, and then provide a writing sample. Um, Pelican is a, a German brand, uh, founded in the late 1800s, uh, but didn't start manufacturing fountain, fountain pens until around 1929. Uh, and the name Pelican actually originated from an element in the family crest of one of their founding fathers, uh, Gunther Wagner. Uh, Pelican is uh, very innovative, or they were very innovative in their early years, and they created um, the very first piston filling pen. And in the uh, early days, Pelican had a very close relationship with Mont Blanc. Uh, Mont Blanc re actually relied on Pelican for ink, and then uh, Pelican relied on Mont Blanc for nibs. So some of the very early Pelican nibs that are Mont Blancs are actually very, very collectible. Uh, the M800 was actually introduced in 1987, and prior to then, Pelican had really a, a long history of smaller, lighter pens, and the M800 um, has been used as a platform for a large number of limited and special editions as well. So enough about history, let's take a look at the pen. It came in this very cool box, uh, and inside we have Another cool box has the Pelican logo and Pelican on the front here. Um, I've actually heard that retailers have to purchase their own packaging for the Pelican pens. And so um, yours may or may not come in something like this. Uh, it might come in some of their other packaging depending on what the retailer purchased. But when you open this up, the, saw, the inside is very, very soft. Uh, I think it's a faux leather, but it is very soft and very nice. And inside here is a nice gift box with a box of, or a box, a bottle of the uh, Edelstein Onyx ink. And then we have a pouch, which we'll get here to in a bit. And you can take out the, this portion and inside we just have some literature. Um, one, we just have the normal filling instructions and, uh, and warranty information. Uh, and then here is a nice little booklet that goes into a bunch of different Pelican pens and shows picture of them. Uh, I kind of like the, pic the uh, history of the Pelican logo that they have in here and how uh, really the thing that changes over time is the number of babies in the logo. There was four, then there was five, and then it went down to three, and then down to one. And uh, so the, the other Pelican, the, the mother Pelican hasn't changed that much, but for some reason someone kept making the decision to either add or take away a uh, baby Pelican, which I just thought is interesting. So this is the pouch that it comes with. And this is again the, the faux leather. It's very soft. Uh, and then it has this little uh, piece of plastic here, which is supposed to uh, meant to look like a wax seal. And then inside we have the pen. And this is the M805, which has the rhodium trim. And the way Pelican's numbering system works is the, uh, the even numbers, like 400, 600, 800, 1000, uh, each have the gold trim. And uh, then the 05s, the 605, 805, 105, have the rhodium trim. Uh, and I personally prefer this rhodium trim and thinks it, uh, it looks really nice in contrast to the, the blue stripes. Um, we'll start with the finial here, which has the Pelican logo in the negative space uh, of this slight texture. Um, I really like the chiseled down step of Pelican's uh, finial that transitions directly into the clip band. Uh, and the M800 has the traditional Pelican clip. You can see here up close, it, uh, uh, it looks like the nose of a, a Pelican or the beak of a Pelican. Uh, and it flares up at the end 
which is makes it very easy to use and has a, a, a decent amount of spring to it. It's a very sturdy clip with a good amount of flex. Um, the cap tapers up just ever so slightly uh, and then there is a very thin cap band right next to a larger one and the larger one actually says uh, Pelican, Souverain and then Germany. Uh, there is a, a small step down to the barrel which is very smooth. Uh, and it, it's very hard to see, but the barrel actually flares slightly between the beginning and the middle and then back down again at the end. You know, it's like less than a millimeter from here to here, and then it's like a fifth of a millimeter from here to here. So it's, it's very small, but there is just a kind of a little bit of a bulb here in the middle. Um, and then there is a very small step down here, down to the piston knob, which has these uh, two rhodium plated bands here and then there's the piston knob and on the end is uh, is just slightly rounded. Um, I, you know that this is a piston pen which means you can't use a converter uh, or a cartridge with it that it is a piston in here. Um, the, the you know I think these blue stripes are just amazing. Um, I, you know, I mentioned it before uh, that this pen came in a lot of limited and special editions, but the, um, the main versions are, uh, are, are black and red, then red stripes and green stripes and blue stripes. Um, you know, it's a hard to see, but the, the black between the stripes is slightly translucent. And if you hold the pen up to a strong light, uh, it can act as a, an ink window. Uh, it's a little tough to see there uh, unless you really have it up to a strong light. Um, but one of the things I really like is that the stripes really vary in slight, uh, size just slightly. Uh, you know, it is ever so slightly and they have a little bit of a subtle sheen to them. Uh, and when you look at this pen in the light, uh, the small variances make for a, a very cool look. Um, it's extremely subtle, but uh, I, I like it a lot. The cap unscrews to reveal this beautiful 18 karat solid gold rhodium plated nib. Um, it has some really nice scroll work and the, uh, the Pelican logo, it says uh, 18C and then 750 and then M for medium, which this pen is. Uh, and here's a look at the feed as well. Um, the, the nib and feed are part of the same unit uh, and it's very easy to grab these and to unscrew them for easy cleaning on the inside. Uh, or if you wanted to get a replacement nib, that the Pelican replacement nibs are uh, readily available. A little on the pricey side, but if you wanted a new nib, uh, they're readily available. Um, but the section is slightly flared here at the end and has a, a silver colored band. Uh, and the section is not the longest, but it, it's very, very comfortable. Um, and the threads at the back of the section are, are not sharp at all. The, the pen posts just fine, uh, and that it does back weight the pen just a tiny bit. Uh, you know, I typically use it unposted. Um, it, it's plenty long enough. And the, um, and the back, the, the weight is distributed a little further back on this pen to begin with. The, 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 the point of balance is, is, the, is probably around here, the center of balance is kind of a little bit towards the middle back of the pen and that's due to the piston mechanism, which, uh, which is plastic on the inside. Um, that I, I won't activate the piston be, but, because it's inked, but the piston mechanism is very, very smooth um, and, and just very, very pleasant to, uh, to use. And, and that I've had this pen for a while and, and I, I've yet to have to uh, break it open to, to grease it up or anything along those lines. It just operates very, very smooth. Um, nothing about this pen feels cheap. Um, it's extremely well crafted and, and it just looks amazing. Uh, and you'll see in the writing sample that it writes like a dream. Uh, the Pelican nibs to me are, are very distinctive. Uh, that that they, are, they are buttery smooth and they just have a very distinct feeling to them that you, you know you're writing with a Pelican nib uh, and this one is just fantastic to use. So here are some measurements uh, and then I'll provide some uh, size comparisons and then I'll provide a writing sample. So here we go with some size comparisons for the Pelican M805. 
um, that uh, here it is with a Pelican M600 and then here it is with an M1000 so you can kind of see how it definitely kind of sits right in the middle of those two you know personally I find the 600 to be just slightly too small for me uh, the, the 100 or the 1000 is very very nice but the the 800 to me is just right, just kind of right in the sweet spot. Uh, and then here it is with a Mont Blanc 146 as well. You can see it's slightly longer than that, or the Mont Blanc is slightly longer. Uh, in regard to some other comparisons, here it is with a one of the new uh, Pelican Stola 3s. Uh, and this is a uh, Lamy All-Star. And then here it is with a uh, Twisby Echo, or Eco, excuse me. So, here we have the Pelican uh, M805. And this is a medium 18K nib. And the ink is Mont Blanc Royal Blue. Mont Blanc ink comes in, uh, in these bottles. I, I, I like these bottles very much. Uh, they're very easy to use and very easy to, uh, to fill. Uh, this is what the color looks like. Uh, it's a, a pretty purplish uh, royal blue compared to some of the other royal blues that I have. Uh, something like, you know, this is the Faber-Castell royal blue. You can see it's a little deeper than that, darker. Um, one of the closer things is the J. Harban Louis XIV, which again is uh, a royal blue, but the, the Mont Blanc has just a little bit more purple in it. But it's nice. I like it. So here we go with the rest of the writing sample. dog. You can fit out of the screen. A little bit out there. Uh, that it is very, very smooth, buttery smooth. Um, you know, you can push out a, a tiny bit of line variation here, but um, the, the medium pen or the medium nib on the Pelicans is very generous. Uh, that it is definitely a, a Western medium. Uh, and in regard to getting some more line variation out of here. You can push a little bit out, but um, you know that for me, the, the, the nib is uh, generous enough to where you really don't need to do that. Uh, and in regard to wetness, it is a fairly wet nib, and there's no issues at all. And in regard to reverse writing, It, is, uh, it isn't necessarily scratchy, but it is a, uh, uh, a, an extra, extra fine line. And in regard to fast writing, this nib has no problem keeping up whatsoever. And it's very, very, very smooth. So there you have the Pelican M805. Uh, it, it's an amazing pen from one of my favorite manufacturers. Uh, you know, I mentioned this before that the pen sat in the number one slot in my uh, top pens of 2015. And while it, it won't be at the very top this year, uh, it will definitely be on the list. It, it is definitely one of my favorite pens in my collection, and I highly recommend it. Um, the, the retail on this price is, you know, in the 300 to uh, 500 range. This is definitely one of those pens that you want to shop around because there is a, uh, a wide variety of pricing that you could see out there and that uh, there are uh, bargains to be had. So thank you for watching and we'll talk to you later.